So, you want to take Valorant from running on 20 frames per second to smooth 60 frames per second, in just few simple steps? Hi, this is Low End Gaming and in this video I will show you how you can play Valorant smoothly on your low end PC without any issues. This video is divided into two parts, FPS and ping. Trust me I will not disappoint. If you are a beginner, and you are not getting at least 20 FPS in your game, there are many basic tweaks you need to do before doing anything else. Watch these for videos to at least get 20 FPS in your game. If you don't have time just watch this one. So, now you are getting at least 20 FPS, now we can go further. Please even after doing all the basic tweaks, if you are still not getting 20 FPS, it's hard to get a smoother performance. But, you can give it a try. Always give it a try. So, to go from 20 FPS to smooth FPS, you need a software. Lossless scaling. This software can literally quadruple your current FPS and I am not even kidding. Just, see the difference with your own eyes. Even if your game is running at 20 FPS, you will get smooth experience. So, go to settings, and find limit FPS always option and here cap your FPS. If you are getting higher FPS like 30 or 40 you can cap to it, it's not compulsory to cap to 20. 20 FPS is sweet spot for low end PC gamers, and you should not go lower than this, you will know why, further in the video. You can always go higher. Now, after capping the FPS, change the window mode to windowed. It's necessary, else it won't work. Now, open the lossless scaling. Well, this software is paid, but you know how to get it for free. After opening the software, don't panic, just copy my settings as it is, nothing else. After changing the settings, click on scale and switch back to your game window immediately. And see the magic happen in 3, 2, 1. So, currently the game is running at 20 frames per second, and you can see the difference with lossless scaling on and off. Let's try it on 30 frames per second. This are the results. It gets more smoother as you cap to higher FPS. Now, let's see what happens, if you go lower than 20 frames per second. Here, I cap the game to 10 frames per second, this is how the game works. And this is how the game works after, turning on the lossless scaling. The input lag is tremendous, and I don't recommend playing on this. But, if you still want to, all the best. And this was all about the FPS. Let's move to the next part, which is equally important. So, for a smooth gameplay in an online multiplayer game, the in-game ping should be less. More or less the ping smoother the gameplay. Let's reduce the ping. Follow me and do as I do. Search for device manager and open it. Find network adapters and make sure that all the drivers are up to date. Now, run the command prompt as an administrator. Here type the following command and run it. This will flush your DNS. Next, open your control panel, go to network and internet. Network and sharing center. Change adapter settings. Right click and go to properties. Select protocol version 4 and go to properties. Tick use the following DNS address. In preferred type 1, 1, 1, 1. In alternate type 1, 0, 0, 1, and click on OK. So, this DNS address changes according to which DNS server has the highest speed currently. Go to this website and check which is the fastest server and apply it. Also this are the fastest public DNS servers. Well, I have an easier way for you. Download the DNS jumper software from the description below. Here, click on fastest DNS and start DNS test. Select the fastest server and click on apply. This will automatically apply the fastest DNS server. Click on flush DNS and this will automatically clear the DNS cache. Hope this helps. So, if you are still here watching this video, comment below rip Ubisoft. And hope this video helped you and if not I am really sorry for wasting your time. See you all in the next one.